P.O. What is good? Sixer Nation. Welcome on in to another edition of Philly Take with RB. Game 81 on the season. One more. The Sixers coming into the ATL on the second of a back-to-back. 52-28 and 28 on the year after falling to the Heat last night. Going up against the 8 seed. 41 and 39 Atlanta Hawks going to be an interesting one for sure and not for the good reasons the Hawks are currently an 11 and a half point favorite because they're going up not against the Sixers they're going up against the G League Blue Coats by the way who won their championship last night let's go welcome in to the Sixers game day live show live play by play reaction live commentary Live breakdown and analysis. We're here every single game. We'll be breaking it all down. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the show. Hit the bell because we're only ramping up for the playoffs. Live on YouTube. Live on Playback TV. Let me hear you in the chat. Happy Friday night. It's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. I was thinking about load managing this game. I honestly was, but you know what? I said, screw it. Let's go watch Mac McClung. Let's go watch Jaden Springer. Let's go watch Michael Foster and Furkan Korkmaz and Montrez Harrell go lead a W on the road. Seriously, why are you here? <laughs> why are you here on a Friday night? It's a great question. It's a great question. I'm going to have fun with this one tonight, man. Um, tune in on YouTube. Be sure to come over on playback. We might even switch games, go back and forth. I'll tell you what, man. Um, the Brooklyn Nets are playing the Orlando Magic tonight. No Palo Bancaro. And if the Brooklyn Nets win, we can finally rest assured that the Sixers will be locked in against Brooklyn in the first round. If the Sixers play Brooklyn, it'll be a good night. The Nets need to win tonight. Tonight's the only night I'm rooting for the Brooklyn Nets. To win so that they lock in that six seed and the Sixers first round matchup is set. Do me a favor. If you're in here right now, drop a comment wherever you are watching. Let me know you're in here because if you are, you deserve a pat on the back. You deserve a pat on the back. Once again, Sixers game day live show Philly take with RB. I deserve a pat on the back. You deserve a pat on the back because we're about to watch this game, even though we probably could be doing many other things. One more game tonight, one more game on Sunday, and then it is the play in this week, and then the Sixers start next Saturday for the first round of the playoffs. Who's ready, man? I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Let's shout out some people in the chat. We got a lot loading in on playback. Ty, Reese, Maxie, what up, Jamie, S, Milo. We got Miles, says Mac and Jaden about to drop 100 piece. Sixers 23, says Mac is with the team. JB says live of the game. JB, what's up? Miles says I have no friends. That's why I'm here. Hey, you're it. Hey, look, man, this is a great community. We got you. Sixer says no Tobias. JB says Friday night watch party in Hunting Park. Shout out to JB and the crew. Sixer said no Tobias. What do you mean no Tobias? You want it? here's the injury report, guys, for tonight's game. Everybody, <laughs> everybody is out tonight. Go down the list. Everybody is out. We are literally getting the blue coat. Shout out to the Delaware blue coats. Can we get some blue coat love in the chat? Can we get some blue coat love in the chat? Them boys finally won the championship. They've been in it three years in a row. Three years in a row, and they finally won the chip. They didn't have Paul Reed this time. No, they had Jaden Springer. And you know what? I'm not going to say it yet. But based on how Jaden's looked in that G League, man, I know it's a different ball game, okay? They were playing Willie Cauley Stein for crying out loud. But Jane Springer looks pretty damn good. And I want to see him in action tonight. That's why I'm here. I want to see Jaden Springer and Mac McClung going toe to toe with the ATL Hawks. You know what's crazy, man? The Hawks beat the Sixers a couple years ago in the playoffs, and they have completely fallen off. It was kind of like a journey run. 
You have the Dallas Mavericks who are playing tonight, by the way, who are resting their players. The Dallas Mavericks, I told you guys, I didn't think they were going to miss the playoffs, but they are bad. Dallas is not going to make the playoffs. Can you believe it? This is going to be a crazy NBA playoffs. A lot of wide open teams. Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving will not be a part of it. And the Atlanta Hawks are in the eight seed. They might not even make the playoffs. You never know. They got all these play in teams. It's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting week. It's going to be a very interesting week. I think the play-ins run from Monday to Friday. So, you know, maybe we'll get on playback TV. If you're a member of the playback room, by the way, we're at like 940 members. We need 60 more people to hop into playback so we can hit 1000, but maybe we'll hop into playback next week and watch some of the play in games. You guys let me know. You let me know. But anyway, yeah, no P.J. Tucker, no Joel Embiid, no James Harden, no Tyrese Maxey, no Tobias, no Melton. Hopefully Melton is okay. He did get injured yesterday, so I hope he's okay. Um, But yeah, it's going to be a tough night, man. It's going to be a chill Friday night. I feel like we could just sit on here and talk more about the playoffs and things like that. Uh, As I mentioned before, guys, be sure to join the Discord to get all the latest updates. Uh, Follow on Instagram and Twitter. Go do that right now. Mods, drop the links in the chat. And guys, we got a special guest coming on the show this week. I can't announce it yet, but a special guest is coming on the show before the playoffs. We'll have an official playoff preview out early in the week, midweek. Then we'll have a special guest coming on the show and probably some collaboration sprinkled in between. So it's going to be an interesting week, man. I cannot wait. I'm pumped. You're probably not going to see the normal RB tonight because, man, this game does not matter. You thought last night didn't matter. Doc Rivers was out there playing the starters. By the way, Doc Rivers described last night's game as an exercise, an exercise, a three-quarter. He said he was only trying to play the starters a couple minutes. He played them for three quarters. He played them for three quarters. No more starters, man. Joel Embiid didn't even come to, to Atlanta. Joel Embiid stayed home. Yeah, this game's going to be hilarious. And you know what's funny? I'm telling you guys right now, for the ones that are in here, there's going to be people that come in. You ready for it? There's going to be people that come in during the third quarter and say, yo, the Sixers are cooked. Sixers are cooked. That's what they're going to say. They're not even going to watch the game. They're not going to know that it's Jaden Springer and Mac McClung playing. And they're going to come in here and and talk up a storm. Watch. You'll see it. Shout out to my guy, Merksy, in the house. We got Secret Underdog. We got the Mod Squad. Guys, if you want to be a moderator for playoffs, hit me up on Discord. I'm going to be uh, picking a couple mods before the playoffs, a couple more to add on to our great Mod Squad. So let me know. Let's shout out to some of the channel members. Ping Boy says 118, 106 Sixers. Give me your score predictions. By the way, guys, with Luka Doncic only playing the first quarter tonight, that will effectively lock in Joel Embiid as these two-time scoring champ, back-to-back scoring titles. Let's get some love for Joel Embiid, man. Joel Embiid is going to win his second consecutive scoring title. Joel Embiid is going to average 33 points per game this season. Do you know how absolutely ludicrous that is? Think about it. Write it down on a piece of paper. Think about it again. 33.3 or whatever it is. Maybe it dropped to 33.2. He's going to average 33 points per game this year. Unbelievable. And you know what's coming, man. You know what's coming in a few days. We're going to have a celebration live stream, by the way. You you know we're going to have it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. I'm popping up like the wind. You're not going to see me coming. I'm just popping up for an MVP celebration stream. Cross your fingers when it's announced. I'm going to, yo, we're going to have a great time. We're going to get some call-ins, some live callers. We're going to celebrate, man. 33 points per game. All right, let's shout out to some people in the chat, man. Ryan Mills, what's going on, man? Speed Demon in the house. Milo, BLSG. Guys, keep on flooding over to playback. We're going to do some interesting things on playback tonight. We might even watch some of the other games. Here's your starting lineups for the opposing Sixers. Shake Milton, Jaden Springer, George Niang, Jalen McDaniels, and Paul Reed. And for the Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, and Clint Capella. 
Miles says 200 to 33 blue coats. Isaiah says, never in my life did I think I would see a center win a scoring title, let alone back to back. Exactly, dude. Exactly. In the modern day game, you have a center winning back to back scoring titles. It's absolutely insane. Suns Geek in the house. What's up, man? Thank you for dropping the link. Shout out to Suns Geek. You guys know to go follow him. Asia Roberson, a fire take goat with a $2 donation. Thank you, Asia. Says RB or Phillies won today. It's about time. It's about time. Shout out to the Phillies for getting it done at the home opener. And Asia Roberson, thank you for being here. Hope all is well. Shout out to our channel members. If you guys want to become a member before the playoffs, you want to get the cool emote packs and all that stuff, go down to the description and click the link. Go, go become a channel member, man. Support the show. Uh, Walter says, what up, RB? I wouldn't be surprised if the Blue Coats help uh, win this meaningless game. Tyler says, Springer and Paul Reed PNR tonight. We got Big Rudd in the house. BX, what's up? Saul says, Miami's resting their players. Prodigy says, I got Sixers winning because Hawks are destined to finish 41 and 41. Basil says, MVP is not going to be announced for weeks. I know. I know. That's why I'm saying once it does get announced, I'm popping up. I'm popping up out of nowhere. So be ready for it. Anyway, let's get it going, man. We're on a bit of a delay, so no spoilers in the YouTube chat. And we will get this one underway. I'm, I'm interested to see the blue coats, man, along with some of the backups here. So we start in Atlanta. Shake Milton up top. He's going to find George Niang. Niang off the dribble. Niang going to pop it up. Short rebounded by Reed, and he puts it back. Yo, if the Hawks lose this game, they should be disqualified from the playoffs. They should be exited from the playoffs before they even play. Hawks have been a disappointment, man. It was a journey run. The Sixers should have beat them. The Sixers should have beat them a couple years ago. We know why they didn't, but there's Jaden Springer. Excited to see his defense, man. I was tough on Springer, but man, he has been playing good down in the G League. He's been playing really good. He had a 43-point game in game one of the finals for the Blue Coats. And first one going to be good for John Collins. You got to think he's probably going to get traded eventually. Guys, we got 180 people in here, 60 on the like button. It's not equating. Get it up to 100 likes. Let's get it, man. And the second one going to be missed. Sixers pick up the board. Niang up the floor. There goes flying Springer. Put it on the board, baby. Let's go, Jaden. He might even play himself into a playoff spot. Nah, let me chill. Trey Young step back two, knocks it through. Could Trey Young be on the move this offseason? Could Luka Doncic be on the move this offseason? Here's Shake coming around a screen. Shake on a drive. Scans, kicks out. Niang for three. Bang. George, you got to get your shot in flow, man. You got to get that shot going. Or the playoffs. You've been inconsistent. Let's go, man. Going to need big shots from George Niang. Going to need big play out of, you know, Paul Reed. Maybe shake. Capella runs to the rim, throws it down. Seven to five is the score. McDaniels up top. McDaniels. Going to need big play out of McDaniels. He's going to find shake. I don't know how. I mean, shake is like an X factor, but at the same time, he's been mostly unplayable. So I don't know if he's going to get any minutes. Hopefully, Melton's not too injured, though. Three ball in the corner, no good from Atlanta. And it's going to be Sixers ball. So let's read off the standings as well, man. Let's go read off the standings. I know it's going to probably be a lighter crowd tonight, but yo, if you've been here all year, man, drop a comment. Drop a comment. You guys have been incredible. We continue to grow this show. We do a lot of different content, but our, our live Sixers game day show has been continually growing. And it's going to be huge in the playoffs. This is where you can expect to be during every Sixers playoff game right here. Here is Hunter. He's going to find Trey Young. Trey going to kick it out. Now a three ball from Atlanta. Going to roll off the rim. Shake. Going to drive it down the floor. Shake. Wow. Runs right in to DeJounte Murray. And Shake going to take a hard hit. Rymill says, I've been here for two years. Shout out to you, man. 
Shout out to the OGs. I appreciate every single one of you. If you are here watching this game right now, you are a psycho Sixers fan, just like myself. And another easy bucket for Atlanta. It's 7-7. Seven seven. Suns Geek says, I've been here for a while, RB. You know that. Suns Geek, I appreciate you, man. Shake up top. Shake. Floats it down low. Reed goes up. Tried to draw contact. Could not, but it's going to be an easy bucket. Yo, if Atlanta loses this game, man, they should be embarrassed. Floater from Trey. No, it's going to be a pass. And and one. Collins going to the line for one more. We got Secret up in the chat. We got Trilla Jones. We got Choner. What's up? Chiquita in the house. Maidenless. What's up? Said Luca for Harden in a sign and trade. Reg says the final streams are going to be fire. See, I like that kind of energy, man. I like that energy. Guys, if we get to the NBA Finals, this stream is going to go viral, man. I need everybody sharing this stream around. There's a share button down below. There's a like button. I need you guys pushing this content out to every fan that you know. Because these playoff streams are different. Springer going to drive off the dribble, and he throws it away. Hawks pick it up. Here comes Trey Young. Trey going to swing it. Collins from the wing, and he drills it. John Collins turned it into a superstar tonight. Here's Shake Milton up top, guarded by DeJounte Murray. Shake going to come around the screen. Shake going to find it up top. McDaniels. McDaniels off the dribble. McDaniels high off the glass. He's fouled. And by the way, guys, like I said, be sure you are in the playback room and, and connected and all that because... We're most likely going to be doing some of the other playoff games, whether it's the play in this next week or, you know, say the first round, say it's Celtics in Miami. We might be doing extra streams for those games, but you got to come over to playback and uh, come check it out. Tyler has been here since last year. Don't get six or games. So I appreciate you doing this. Tyler, thank you for being here, man. Thank you to everybody who is a part of the platform and the community. We continue to grow. Like I said, be sure you're following everywhere, Ben. Trey Young up top, guarded by Jaden Springer. Trey Young dishes it down low, stolen by Philadelphia. McDaniels, Niang, Niang, Springer. Nice pass to Reed. Oh, he got rejected. Who does John Collins think he is right now? Who does he think he is? And there goes Capella and easy two. My question is, who's going to come in off the bench for the Sixers? Who's going to come in off the bench? Is it going to be Furkan? Probably. Is that Mac McClung? Yo, they got to bring Mac in. They got to bring him in for the Mac Hive. Bring that man in the game. Jamie, thank you for being here. Merksy in the house. Is Springer was shooting at a middle school hoop. Luke says, even though we're going to lose this game, I can't miss the game. See, that's why you're a psycho Sixers fan. Miles says, more excited about this game than last game. I like seeing young players. TJ says, got here three weeks ago. They got to bring Mac in, man. They got to bring in the Mac Hive. Yo, if you were here during the dunk contest, man, that was amazing. Shout out to Mac McClung. I think he had 30 last night. RJ, what's going on, man? Shout out to the members. Guys, 10 more likes. Get it to 100. Give me a second, too. All right, let's get it going, man. We are here on a Friday night. Hope everybody is enjoying themselves. Hope you guys are enjoying this game. It's going to be an interesting one for sure. For sure. The fact that Doc Rivers called last night's game an exercise, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't understand. Bainless says, hit the like, helps the channel grow and reach out to new people. Exactly. Exactly. For the new people that may be in here and are wondering, you know, why, why are we always promoting the like button and stuff? You know, we're trying to get this channel out in front of as many Sixer fans and NBA fans as possible. We're trying to get as many viewers in here as possible. 
and really take this thing to the next level. Chiquita says, it hasn't been working, but I will try again. Once again, if you're on playback, you just have to be signed in wherever you're watching the game. Wherever you're watching the game. Now, you know, it could be a local broadcast. It could be a league pass, depending on which broadcast we're on. So we're on the NBC Philly broadcast. So you either want an NBC Philly, you know, provider or you want a league pass. Cynthia says, I am here for Mac. GS says, Mac is playing tonight. Yeah, we want Mac. We need some Mac and cheese up in here. We need some Mac and cheese. All right, so Atlanta clinches an eighth seed with win or Toronto loss. Nets clinch a sp- playoff spot in sixth seed with a win. I didn't see the rest of it, but let's get it going, man. Oh, yeah, let's get the other scoreboard up, by the way. Look at me slacking. That way I'm not ahead. And a missed layup. Come on, Shake. What are you doing? And another three ball going to be missed. Sixers trying to save it. They do. Niang goes running into the crowd. Springer up top. Going to find McDaniels. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a shot. J-Mac from deep again. How about that shot he hit last night from Curry range? Murray going to put it up. Knocks it through. DeJounte Murray. Hawks lead by three. We finally got 100 likes in the house, man. Let's go. You know the horn is coming. The neighbors will awaken. McDaniels. Oh, he's getting saucy with it. Springer, shoot. Shoot, Springer. Oh, turn around, fade. Yo, he looked like Kawhi Leonard right there. Springer again. Yeah. Woo. Jaden. Springer. Let's go. Atlanta going to miss the next three. Here come the Sixers. They are rocking and rolling. That shot did not look pretty, but it went in. McDaniels drives. He crashes, throws it way out to Shake. Shake going in with the left. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's get it going. Trey Young up top. If you guys are not on playback, you're missing the show, man. Once you go playback, you never go back. Trey Young to the corner. Collins in the corner. No good. Sixers pick it up. Shake, you need to be aggressive, man. You need to get cooking before the playoffs. Shake puts it up. Missed it again. And it's going to be picked up by Atlanta. And now Reed with a foul on the subsequent touch. Sean Quick says Sixers are not good enough or have accomplished enough to say a game was an exercise. I agree. 100%. 100%. 100%. Sixers says we should rest our guys and get in, the, get in playoffs healthy. Yeah, that's what we're doing, man. They're not playing next game, I'll tell you that. I'm excited to see Jaden Springer, though, man. He's definitely looked really good in the G League. And, you know, being a first-round pick, hopefully he can get going. Dwayne Dedman's in the game. Oh, you know Doc needed to get him in. You know, Doc had needed to get Dwayne Dedman in the game. <laughs> Corner three from Atlanta, no good. Hawks have been an interesting team, man, for sure. Forgot they traded for Sadiq Bay, too. He's a good player. There's Furkan. You know, he's taking the shot. Furkan's taking a shot. You know that. First one good for Furky. And there goes Atlanta to the rim. Going to be out of bounds, staying with the Hawks, though. Sadiq Bay was definitely misused in Detroit. I'm surprised the Hawks picked him up, though, because he's kind of playing the same type of role. Like, he hasn't really expanded his game at all. And now a little jump shot. That one's going to go. 
That was Bogdanovich. Here's Point Ferk up top. Point Ferk going to find Deadman. He's going to hand it off. Dribble handoff Springer. Springer going all the way to the rack. Throws it out. Turned over. And they're going to say Atlanta went out of bounds. So it's going to be Sixers basketball. Let's go Springer. He just, the thing that always gets me about Jaden is like he, he has an awkward type of game. I don't know if it's his, like, every guy at the Sixers draft has either a weird jump shot form or the way he runs is just awkward. I don't know what it is, but Jaden just has an awkward, like, not an awkward game, but just like a technique, I guess. They're going to have to do some work with him for sure. He has been improving. Here's DeJounte Murray and going to be a foul now, a technical. Who's that on? Who's that on? Daniel House? Of course it's on Daniel House. Will Daniel House get any playoff minutes? What do you guys think about that? Will Daniel House get into a playoff game? I could actually see it happening from Doc Rivers. Not even going to lie. So the free throw's good. Snoopy says he'll get in for three seconds. He had a cleanup crew. Will Dwayne Deadman get into a playoff game? Yo, the Hawks have all these guys I forgot about. Jalen Johnson and... Man. Yo, I'm telling you, this man, Dwayne Dedman, he looks like the, the, the type of guy that would, that would pull up to the court, like on the streets and, you know, just talk a lot of smack and get in the block and back you down. Another... Where's Mac McClung at? Is he going to come in like? Somehow the Sixers are still holding their ground so far. Daniel House going to pull it from the top and he hits it. Sixers lead it. Sixers lead it by four. Is this the new playoff team here? Murray up top. Murray throws it to nobody. Picked up by Johnson. Johnson all the way. Can't get it in traffic. Sixers pick it up. Yo, if the Sixers win tonight, man, they're going to be calling for this team to play in the playoffs. Furcon getting shifty. Wow. Talk about getting smothered, Furcon. Talk about getting smothered. Let's go. We hit 100 likes, man. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, let's go. Wow, what a dime by Deadman. Deadman dishing dimes. <laughs> Yo, what a pass. What a pass. And why does Tobias look like he's about to go on a dinner date? Dude, what a dime by Dwayne Deadman. Don't let that man Dwayne get in his bag. Didn't he used to play for Atlanta too? You know we're going to see some Trez minutes. You know we're going to see some Trez minutes. Guys, let's get this to 200 likes. We got 200 plus in the house. Thank you all for being here on this Friday night. You could be doing many other things with your Friday, but the fact that you're here hanging with the boys and girls, the Sixers Nation, the Philly Take community, we appreciate all of you. All right, question for the chat. Sixer Nation out there. I need, I need to gauge some, uh, some thoughts. Question for Sixer Nation. How confident on a scale from 1 to 10, with 10 being the most confident and 1 being the least confident, are you that the Sixers will make it past the second round? 10 is the most confident. One is the least confident. How confident are you?
See, now I'm watching these uh, in-between commercial break festivities from Atlanta here, and, and I can get down with this. Like, this is the only other good one that I've seen other than Philadelphia. Like, they got dudes spinning on their heads. I like this. I like this. Guys, I'm telling you, come join the playback chat. Come join the playback and don't look back. And be sure to join the Discord as well, man. All right, let's get some of the answers in the chat. We got a seven. We have a four, five, five and a half, eight, seven and a half, four, six and a half, seven and a half. So we are all across the spectrum. Three. I see a 10. Six, but I wish I could say 10. Six. Um, five. Eight, eight, seven. Man, we are all across the board. All across the board tonight. Another rebound by the Sixers. Burke on. McDaniels, here's Deadman. Deadman the oop. Yo! Jalen McDaniels finishes the oop off a dish from Deadman. Yo, who is Dwayne Deadman? And Mac McClung is in the game, guys. Mac Hive, stand up. Mac Hive, stand up. He's in. He's in. Yo, Furcon loves getting blocked, man. Three ball from the corner. Good for Sadiq Bay. Former Piston, former Nova Nation Wildcat. Mac and Cheese has entered the game. Here he is, Mac. He has played in a couple NBA games before. Mac for three. Oh, if he hit that, the world would have been on fire. I love that aggression, though. I'm telling you, if Mac McClung was just three inches taller, he would be an NBA player, man. People think he is an NBA player. He's got hops. He's got some bounce to him, man, but he's just a little bit too short. I would still take him above Furkan Korkmaz, though. I mean, anybody would. He's got some swagger to him, man. I, I can get down with Mac McClung any day. You could just see he wants the ball, man. He Look, he's trying to make a play. Deadman dumps it off. Yo, Deadman's got some dimes tonight. House all the way. What a pass. Deadman with the flush. Yo, this Sixers team might be better. This Sixers team might be it. They're playing like dogs right now. What's going on here? What's going on here? Trey Young, the fake. He throws it away. Hawks are messing around at this point. Sadiq Bay with a nice shot. Mac McClung going to drive. Goes up. Blocked. Yo, that's goaltending. That's goaltending. Come on, man. And Young going to get fouled in the corner. Tell you what, Dwayne Demon keeps playing this good. Doc might play him in the playoffs. It is good, though, to see McDaniels, Reed, all them guys get some good minutes here. They're going to need it. They're going to need it. For sure. Juan says Deadman for MVP. Honestly, man. Sarah in the chat. What's up, Sarah? C Block in the house. What up, C Block? Let's go. Everybody in here, hit that like button, man. We could literally have 200 right now. We still need to get 300 on the night. 
$5 donation from Philly for Life Fire Take Goat. Shout out to my guy, man. Long time follower. He says, Bro, Deadman is in the zone. Love Mac. Please play him. No Dork Moz, please. Glenn, don't do it anymore. He is washed. Speaking the gospel out here. Speaking the gospel. You know, Ferk's going to get like 40 minutes tonight, though. He's going to get like 40 minutes tonight. Furkan requested a trade twice from this organization and was not traded. He thinks he's him. Sadiq Bay, another corner three, going to miss this time. Furkan with the rebound. Yo, Deadman's calling for the ball. Like, he really wants it tonight. He really wants it. Furkan up top. He's guarded. Furkan the cross, the drive. Furkan. Swings of the corner, house. Oh, you don't want to do that step back? Well, nice dish down low. Denman is fouled. Dwayne Denman to the line. Now, this Sixers team showing some heart, man. They're showing some heart. Yo, no look passes. Are the Hawks really this bad? Are the Hawks really this bad? I knew they were bad, but this bad? Bro. Trey Young at the buzzer. Oh, he knocked it down. It's not going to count, though. It's not going to count. That was a nice shot by Trey Young. So that'll take us to the end of one. Sixers lead it 32 to 31. The Sixers have the lead. They have the lead after one. Can they win this game? Yes or no? Give me your thoughts in the chat. Like I said, man, welcome into the show. If you're new, this is probably not the good first time to come in, but this is the Sixers game day live show. Philly take with RB. We cover the Sixers. We talk about the NBA and uh, we drop content every day, videos, live streams, et cetera. And guys, for the playoffs, our schedule is going to be the live game streams as always. And we will be doing post game videos the next day, you know, giving you the breakdown, the coverage, all that stuff. And uh, this upcoming week, we'll have a playoff preview. Every playoff series, we will have a preview and prediction video out like we have in prior years. And we'll be giving some keys to the series, some main things to look for. And we'll also hopefully be doing some collaborations and a special guest coming on the show this upcoming week, man. So can't wait. I am pumped up. I am pumped up. Rocha Entertainment in the chat. What's up, Rocha? Welcome into the show, man. Shout out to him. Great creator right there. Definitely ready for the playoffs. Definitely. Jamie says, Trey Young is a younger Kyrie, a team killer. Yo, people did not listen to me. I didn't think the Maz would miss the playoffs, but I, I knew that anywhere Kyrie Irving goes, the team just goes downhill. The team just goes downhill. And, you know, it just continually happens. I'm not saying it's mainly his fault or only his fault. But every time that man goes to a team, something happens. Like, they were the fifth, right? Four or five seed. And they fell out of the playoffs with Luka Doncic. That team went to the Western Conference Finals last year. They get Kyrie, they miss the playoffs. I mean, come on, man. We got Pete in the chat. What's up, Pete? Secret says we are winning the game. Craig says they can win the game. I'm going to have bad quarters. And another easy two there for Atlanta. 
Trey Young's balling tonight. He really is against the uh, backups here for the Sixers. Once again, if you're just joining, no Embiid, Harden, Maxi, Tobias, Melton. Mac McClung tried to get it to Deadman, stolen away. Here come the Hawks, Young, and Jalen Johnson with a tomahawk. Sheesh. My man thought he was doing something. He thought he was like that. Sam in the chat, what's up? Fighting for Daylight says, how can we lose when we have Mac? $2 donation from Philly for Life says, can't miss Arby's playoff videos. Top of the line. Tune in Philly for Life. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate that. Guys, you got to tap into the playoff coverage. Got to tap in. We're about to hit that big 30K. Furkan pulls it up. Missed. I don't know what that was by Dwayne Dedman. Furkan, wow, what a steal. But he can't pick it up. Now, Dedman on the floor. He call, it, he call a timeout. Yo, Dwayne Dedman really thinks he's him. Look at him. Dwayne Dedman really thinks he's him. That's the next LA Fitness All-Star right there. Dwayne Dedman, yo. That's crazy. My man dove on the floor, called his own timeout. He said, all right, bro. <laughs> yo. It is fun watching Dwayne Dedman play. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That is hilarious, yo. Oh, my gosh. Dwayne Dedman wants to... He knows he's not getting in the playoffs. He wants this... Man, he wants this game to go as long as possible. Friday night, cardiac Sixers... I'm sorry, Blue Coats versus the Atlanta Hawks. You know we're coming for it. He's really funny, man. He's really funny, man. Jessica says, Deadman is a good player. All NBA players are good. I mean, on a comparative level, okay, he's good compared to what? What is he good compared to? Everybody's good compared to something else. Right. Medium says I'm jo I'm enjoying the Dwayne Dedman show. I got to be honest with you guys. You know I'm literally just kicking back here, just watching this. I'm just enjoying this game. We got the Chick Fil A parachute drop. Shout out to the Atlanta Hawks Stadium. They're the only ones that do some interesting things. Like this is actually crazy. Imagine being at the game and you get a, a parachute flying some Chick Fil A down to you. I hey, I can't complain about that. I can't complain about that. Jessica says, compared to the players in not in the NBA, it's hard making the NBA. Right. I mean, of course, he's going to be good compared to your uncle who works a day job who, who's not in the NBA. That, that totally makes sense. But to be in the NBA, you have to be good compared to NBA players, right? Oh, they're showing Mac Mac highlights. They're showing Mac dunk highlights. Yo, Mac really had to sh had the show. He had the world on a standstill for 24 hours. My man gained about a million followers on his socials. Shout out to Mac. How tall is he? Like 5'11"? If he was just a little bit taller, maybe he's like 6'1", actually. Furkan going to drive, takes it back. Furkan, Niang, Niang off the dribble. No good. Yeah, Devin really smacked the backboard. He is hilarious. He is hilarious. Bogdanovich going to drive, kick. Johnson off the dribble. And an easy slam down low by Okongwu. Let's see. Um, Mac McClung. Six foot two. I, he's not six two. He's maybe six one, six feet. Deadman trying to put it in. Cannot. It's going to go the other way. Deadman's chirping at the ref. Deadman is really funny, man. He is funny. We're going to pull up the standings in a little while. We're going to talk about the playoff scenarios, but 
Oh, man. Trey Young for three. It's short. Sixers pick it up. Shake on a drive. Find Springer in the corner. And short. The fact that Atlanta is really struggling right now against the Sixers is funny. As they hit a shot and go up by uh, eight points there. Atlanta's been playing bad, though. House fouled, and he's going to the line for two. Where's our boy Big Smoke at? Biggest Dwayne Dedman fanboy on the internet. Where's he at? No Big Smoke tonight? Maybe he's in here. Guys, if you have not yet, come join the playback show. We got a lot of people loading in here. And if you're on YouTube and, you, and if you haven't hit the like button yet, what are you doing, man? We are giving you this content for free. We call the games. We break them down in real time. We talk to the community. Show some love, man. Hit the thumbs up button. Sharon says, Sixers need a good backup center and a strong forward and another good shooting guard. McClung is 6'2". No, he's not. He's not 6'2". He's about six feet tall. It's, it lists them as 6'2", but no way. And Sadiq Bey with an easy rebound goes back up. Paul Reed back in the game now. Shake Milton wide open from three. Come on, Shake and Bake. What are you doing? Now Paul Reed's going to get called for foul. I'm telling you, Paul Reed's going to play his, himself out of the playoffs here. You got to chill, Paul. The way Deadman's playing right now, you might be on the back burner. Sam, thank you for liking the show, man. Tyler says Nets are up by 17 right now. Let's get a check on the Nets. Here comes Montrez Harrell. Once again, if the Nets win tonight's game, they will lock into the number six seed and they will be playing the Sixers starting next week in round one. I am hoping and praying for a Sixers-Nets series for many reasons. We'll talk about some of them here, but we'll be dropping a preview video with a full breakdown on the series. <clears throat> But the Nets are who I want the Sixers to play. Trey Young going to miss, and Trez picks it up. <clears throat> George Niang wants a triple. George Niang doesn't have one. Eight point game. Hawks lead it. Trey Young guarded by McDaniels. Trey going to drive. Yo, how are they going to give him that foul? That is crazy. McDaniels literally pulled his hands back. Come on now. They made the rule because of Trey Young. <laughs> he literally pulled his arms away. Come on now. This is the only night I'm rooting for the Nets to win. That way they can play the uh, Sixers. See if we can pull up the standings here a little bit while we're watching this. Um, let's see. Shake on a drive, go all the way, missed it. Come on, man. Trey Young up top, going to find the corner, another wide open three, and it doesn't go. Niang picks it up, saves it. Shake again. What are you doing, bro? What are you doing, Shake Milton? All right, we got the standings up now for a little bit. So here's, how, here's what we're looking at, guys. Here's what we're looking at. So Bucks number one, Boston at two, Sixers at the third seed, Cleveland and the Knicks locked in four and five.
Guys, what do you think is going to be the upset of the first round? Do you think there will be any upsets? And if so, who will it be? Because honestly, I talked about this last night. I think Miami's going to give Boston a good series if they do end up playing each other. I'm not saying Boston's going to lose, but I think it'll go at least six. Because Miami, they, they are annoying. They played Boston in the conference finals last year. And I do think it'll go six or seven. As of right now, you're looking at Heat, Hawks, Raptors, and Bulls in the play-in. So, yeah, the rest of the teams are eliminated. Um, so, yeah, if the Brooklyn Nets win tonight, they can lock into the sixth seed. And yeah, it'll be Miami, Chicago, Atlanta, Toronto. I think that Cleveland and Knicks series is going to be interesting, too. I could see the Knicks winning that series over Cleveland. I think it'll I think it'll go probably six or seven. But I do think it'll be a bit close. Um yeah, I think Milwaukee and the and the Sixers would have pretty fair series. I, I don't think it would be too hard. But <clears throat> let's see. I think Miami matches up against Boston. I agree. I agree they do match up pretty well. I think Cavs will upset the Bucks in the second round. Wow, that's a hot take. That's a hot take. I'm telling you, man, the Knicks, Cavs, that'll be an interesting series. You know, Mitchell went to the Cavs. You got Jalen Brunson on the Knicks. Going to be interesting. Can't wait to see what happens. Chicago doesn't scare me at all. Toronto hasn't been too lethal either. Atlanta, as we're watching right now, is not good at all. I think Miami is really the only team that can come out of that with a chance to even compete. I mean, honestly, if if you want me to be completely honest, I don't even get why the uh, the playing teams were added at the end. I mean, I know why, but I still don't get it because, you know, you got teams that are 38 and 42 coming into the playoffs. Like, come on, man. Come on. Let's just be honest, RB, you want Boston to lose because they'll give Philly hell. No, I I don't care. I'm just saying I don't think they're going to have a fair, easy series. I, I think Miami's going to give them a tough time. That's how I feel. They always play them well. Here comes Shake Milton. I'm telling you, Jimmy Butler in the playoffs is a different breed. He's very, he's just a pest. We'll look at the West in a second. Shake up top. Trez. And gets it taken away. Come on, man. Sadiq Bay for three. Going to miss that one. And now it's taken away by the Sixers. And McDaniel's down the other end with an easy two. Sixers bench needs to get going, man. We need some productive minutes. Out of the bench. Here's Okongwu down on the block. Just setting a legal screen on McDaniels. I don't know how he thought he was going to get away with that. What a play by Jalen. Sixers are going to need this version of Jalen McDaniels. I would still put McDaniels in the starting lineup. Even if you guys think that's a hot take. I would I would bring Tobias off the bench. I think McDaniel's fits better. But anyway, let's look at the West. Let's look at the Western Conference. Can you guys see that? Let's see. Yep, you guys can see it. Who do we think's gonna be upset in the West? I think there could be a couple upsets. I think the West is wide open. Shake going all the way. He misses a layup. Trez. Puts it back. And then he elbows the basketball. He just got attacked, didn't he? <laughs> Trez, you are so... Trez is hilarious, man. What was the point of that, Trez? <laughs> Yo, Trez lives in his own world, bro. He lives in his own world. 
He really does. Guys, if you're not, be sure to follow on the socials, Instagram, Twitter, join the Discord. Mods, drop the links in the chat. Another miss by the Hawks. It is a nine-point lead. Shake going to bring it down the floor. Shake. Springer. Now McDaniels. McDaniels off the drive. And Trez with another putback. Wow. Wow. Timeout on the floor. By the way, Quinn Snyder is the coach of the Hawks. Trez running around the floor talking smack. He's having a time, man. Quinn Snyder's the coach. McMillan was fired, but anyway, we're looking at the West. I don't believe in the Denver Nuggets. They don't scare me at all. Uh, Grizzlies have been up and down with the whole jaw thing. Sacramento, to me, has been one of the most consistent teams this year, and they haven't made the playoffs in 16 years, so they're going to be fired up. Phoenix, to me, is still the favorite with Kevin Durant, but they haven't had a lot of time to play together. They've won seven in a row, but they still need to get that chemistry down. And, um, you know, it'd be, it'd be nice if the Sixers don't go to see CP win a ring, but we'll see. Clippers, believe it or not, don't scare me. Uh, the Golden State Warriors, I think, you know, they haven't had a solid year by any means, but you can never really doubt Steph Curry in the playoffs. And the Lakers, no way. And the Pelicans, man, you want to talk about a drop-off. You want to talk about a drop-off. I feel bad for Zion Williamson. That is one player I actually feel bad for. They just said today he's probably not going to come back. He just keeps getting injured, man. One of the, one of the craziest prospects ever. Like a show, a showstopper, like unbelievable talent but just cannot stay healthy. Crazy. Warriors over Kings, Lakers, and Memphis. Or no, Warriors over Kings, Lakers over Memphis. Wow, that's an interesting one. If Trez had height, he would be our main backup, says Royal. I mean, he's got more height than the other guy. Nice defense there by Trez. Here come the Sixers. House coming around a screen. House going all the way. And Trez is found and won. Okay, Trez. Sir. Okay, Trez. Yo, he's bowling out here. He might get some playoff minutes after this game. All right, Trez. Show us what you got then. Show us what you got then. All right. And he's going to miss the free throw. And an easy two down the other end. Isaiah says over Paul Reed. No, I was just joking. I was just joking. Um, yeah, so it's a seven-point game. Guys, we got 340 people up in here. 340 people in here. We got 174 on the like button. Let's go, man. Springer, the crossover. Wow, what a move by Jaden Springer. It's a five-point game. The Sixers are crawling back again. Aliyup missed it. Here come the Sixers. Throws it down the floor up to Springer, and he throws it down. Let's go. It is a three-point game. Yes, sir. Yo. Yo. The Sixers team ain't going down without a fight. Murray with a nice one off the dribble. That pairing's definitely been interesting with uh, with Trey Young and DeJounte Murray. By the way, Jalen McDaniels is playing pretty well. He's looking a lot better. He looks healthier. And I had a hot take a couple months ago. A lot of people were interacting with it on Twitter. I said, you know, I would, I think the key to 
to unlock in the Sixers' full potential is getting a more athletic four next to Joel Embiid. And, you know, I think McDaniels would be a better fit. I think Tobias should come off the bench. But we'll see, man. Speed said Tresmanian devil. I like that. House again, yo. Daniel House loves blowing the vibe. He loves blowing the vibe. I've noticed a commonality between um, Daniel House and Furk on Korkmaz. They both think they're superstars. The way that House and Furk on play, they, they act like they have the arsenal. They act like they have the bag. Capella going to find Murray. Murray off the dribble. Yo, the Hawks stink. They are actually struggling against this team. They are struggling. They're not even playing together either. They're like all over the place. Trez goes up. Wow, another one for Trez. And you know what's weird? It's like a couple years ago, obviously the Sixers should have beat them, but the Hawks had a lot more chemistry between the team. You had Herter, you had Bogdanovich. Everybody was just kind of like meshing. They were all going off for 10, 15, 20 points, and now it's like they just look uninterested. McDaniel's going to pop a three. That one's short. $2 $2 donation from Philly for life. Thank you, my man. Says, agree 1,000%. McDaniels fits better with the starters. What a shot by Trey Young. They didn't call a foul, but what a shot. I'm telling you, man. Um, I agree, Philly. Like, Jalen McDaniels, you know, he doesn't have to have the volume of touches that Tobias does. Tobias could run a bench unit and get a lot more shot attempts and go against backups where he would be more effective because he's not that good anymore in the catch-and-shoot role. Trey Young, another floater, got it. Trey's the only one that's cooking on this team. C-Block says, if Atlanta loses to the Sixers, somebody's getting fired. They're not firing them again. Imagine two coaching fires in one year. They fired McMillan. I don't think they're going to fire Quinn Snyder. Jane Springer going to drive, gets plucked, and he lost it. I want to see what uh, DeJounte Murray, who just slammed it down. Oh, don't start flexing, DeJounte. Don't start flexing. Look at who you're playing, bro. And you're str- you guys are struggling, by the way. DeJounte Murray's averaging 20 points per game this year, so his numbers are still there. I mean, he just doesn't have as much... It do, it doesn't seem like he has as, as much efficiency because he's playing next to Trey. But So somebody said Tobias is a 70 overall, but he's paid like a 99. <laughs> yo. I'm glad yo, first off, I appreciate you guys, man. Welcome into the show if you're just tuning in. The fact that we got we still got hundreds of people in here on a meaningless game on a Friday night. That just shows how strong our community is. And um yeah, man, it's it's, it's the great comments, it's the great communication from you guys that keeps us going because the end of the day man 
I don't expect you guys to be here on a Friday night, game 81 of the year. But we're hanging out. We're watching the game. We're having fun, man. As always, this show is meant to have fun, to educate, do all, all of it, man. All the purposes. Sixers Uruguay, what's up, man? Says Nets winning by 20. Ben says if Embiid and the rest of the starters played, it'd be an absolute blowout with Embiid scoring a 50 bomb. Trey Young up top, four on the shot clock. Trey, the oop, and it's thrown down yet again. 11 point lead for Atlanta. Guys, we need 13 more likes. Come on, man. Who's going to get us to 200? We need 13 more. We got plenty of people in the chat. Shake going to find Deadman. Here's Dwayne. Yo, pull it. Pull it, Dwayne. Pull it. Here's McDaniels. Ooh, he tried to thread it. Kick ball. Isaiah says, checking in from Atlanta, but a South Jersey native. Blue and red all day. Where are you guys tuning in from, man? Let's go. Ten people smash that like right now. Hit that thumbs up, man. Michael, what's going on? RG, what's up? Says, I'm watching at work. Put the headphones in, man. Put the headphones in. Nice shot there, by the way. Now it's back to an eight-point game. Time for one more shot. Time for one more. If you guys have not yet, also hit that subscribe button. Hit that red subscribe button. Let's get it up. Let's run it up. Become a part of the family. Trey Young off the dribble. Corner three. No good, but a putback. With four tenths of a second on the clock. And that'll take us to halftime. It's 63 to 53. So I'm not going to do a halftime analysis because, you know, there's not much to really say. Well, at least uh, at least the one half is over. We've all stuck here together. I'm not even going to ask you guys for words. That would be disrespectful of me. Um, let me see. Can I? It's probably not going to work for most people. Yeah, it's not going to work. Because I could switch to the Brooklyn Nets game over here on uh, on playback, but I don't think many people would have that broadcast unless you have a league pass. Uh, let's see. Hey, we got 200 likes in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's get it to 300 now. Michael says, watching this from Disney World. Larry B says, who would you like to play in the first round? You already know who I want to play. Brooklyn Nets, baby. Like I said, we'll be dropping a, a breakdown video early next week, giving our thoughts on the playoffs. We'll do that every series. And, um, yeah, we'll have a special guest coming on the show this week. Excited for that. If you guys are new, we do live streams like this every game, but we do videos we uh, you know, bring guests on. We do live callers, collaborations, a lot of different content. So be sure you're staying up with all of it. During halftime, you guys may as well come over to Playback TV. You guys may as well come over to Playback TV. Come watch the halftime scenery. Get ready for the game. Try to sign in. All you got to do is sign in for free with a provider. That's it. That's it. And you can come watch the game with us in the VIP chat room. Terry says, what do you think about Jaden and his chance to be in the playoff rotation? I don't think he's going to crack the rotation. I don't think he's going to crack it this year, but maybe next year he'll be a good prospect. Good piece, hopefully. All these first-round picks, somebody's got to pay off. Somebody's got to work out. But yeah, give me your guys' thoughts in the chat. We will be right back in just a minute or two. We'll keep talking it through. We'll talk some playoff scenarios. 
And uh, we'll see how it goes, man. I mean, I don't think anybody can be frustrated right now. The Sixers are at least hanging in there with their bench unit and their blue coats. So, hey, I mean, they're, they're doing their thing so far. They're doing their thing so far. Jalen McDaniel says 18 at halftime. Shout out to Jalen. Springer's got nine. Good to see. Good to see. Wow, Shake Millen's one for 10. House is one for five. Trez has eight points off the bench. Eight and eight for Montrez Harrell. Eight points, eight rebounds. Wow. Hawks were kind of struggling for most of that half. They were kind of struggling. But anyway, we shall be back in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. Give me your thoughts about the playoffs. Who do you want to see in the first round? And how many games do you think it'll go in the first round for the Sixers? Give me your thoughts down in the chat, wherever you're watching. And we will be back in just a few moments.
right, we are back. Sixers game day live show Friday night. Sixers and Hawks, welcome on in to the platform. How's everybody feeling, man? How is everybody feeling? Can the Sixers win this game? Do you care if they win this game? Are you having a good time watching Jaden Springer and Jalen McDaniels lead the show? Let's go. Somebody said, I want the Nets. I want the Nets. I want the Heat. Nets and Sixers take it in five. Let's see. I want a like, but I got put on timeout. Hey, that's fraudulent. You can still hit the like button anyway. So you're capping. Like I said, guys, be sure you're joining up on the Discord. Be sure you're following on the socials. Come on over on playback, man. Come on over on playback. Guys are missing out. Guys are missing out. Let's go, man. Caddis says Niang only has three points. When is the first playoff game? Next Saturday. Next Saturday. Julian says, who on earth would want the Miami Heat in the first round? I agree. I do not want to see them in the first round. They could mess around, take you to seven games. Dom says, I care that the bench plays hard. I'm still not sure who Doc will use in the playoffs. Maybe Melton, McDaniels, and Reed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to talk about it on my preview video, but I don't know who it's going to be yet. (laughs) Yeah, I told you guys it was coming. Told you guys it was coming. Um, Broad... F says down to down by 10 to the F and Hawks. I need the Sixers to walk into the gym and dominate teams. I need more confidence from the Sixers and to act like you're the better team. You know what? You're right, bro. You're right. (laughs) You're right, bro. You're right. Chef Cauldron in the house. What up, Chef? Duncan Wright in the house. Shout out to the channel members. Let's go. Nobody's out here commenting in the chat. I see a few. Everybody's on halftime break. So you know what? I'm just going to play some music, man. Let's uh, Let's play the intro song. Why not? Play some music, man. Philly for Life says we out here. Let's get this dub. (laughs) I don't care who we play in the first round. Just figure out the rotation, Glenn. Stop playing Niang and play more Jalen, says Terry. I knew somebody would come in here, man. I knew somebody would come in like, yo, Sixers got to play better. Radio says that's funky music. You're funky music.
Kingdom, what's going on, man? Speed Demon says, that is heat. Only the real ones know this song, the ones that are in the show at the beginning. We got the best intro song in the game. We got the best intro song in the game. Anyway, if you guys are new, welcome on in. This is where we watch every Sixers game live. We cover the team. We do videos, live streams on the daily. So thank you all for being here. Anybody who's been a part of this before, you know, be sure to check out the videos, the live streams. Um, Biz says, Sup, man, literally just discovered this place. Yo, you have just come at the right time, man. You have come at the right time because we are gearing up for the playoffs. We'll be live every playoff game. Let's go. Let's go. He said, hey, RB, Sixers should play better. Exactly. You guys are right, man. They, they got to be playing better than this. You got to come into the, to the gym and dominate teams. You're right. You're right. All right, Sixer Nation, drop some blue and red in the chat. Do some blue and red in the chat. Let's get it going. Friday night, here we go. Second half beginning. Corner three from Hunter, and there it goes to begin. Let's get the scoreboard back up. <clears throat> McDaniel's going to pull it up from the line. No good. Hawks pick it up. Here they come. DeAndre Hunter going to drive, spin. Here's Trey Young. Trey going to kick it out. Alley-oop and a throwdown by John Collins. RB, are you going to do non-sixer playoff games too? Yeah, I'm probably going to do some of the non-sixer games. I'm not sure if they'll be on playback only yet or on YouTube as well, but we will be doing other games. We'll be breaking it all down. And if the Sixers get bounced, we'll probably be doing a lot more games as well. And then we'll be getting into draft coverage offseason. Shout out to the ones who stay around in the offseason, man. We do draft coverage, draft profiles. I'm actually working on something huge right now, but we'll see how it goes. Hawks lead it by 15. Come on, don't make this an embarrassment, man. Don't make this an embarrassment. There's Jaden Springer. He's going to run, look like some pick and roll. Springer off the dribble. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot. Let's go. Come on now. Like I said, if you guys haven't joined the playback room, come on over. Click the link in the YouTube chat, guys. Click the link that is pinned. Come on over to, to uh, playback. And now another turnover is going to be Sixers basketball. Draft's going to be something. I'm excited. I am excited. We got some special things in the works for the draft. But we are going to be doing some draft coverage. We'll see where the Sixers pick if they do. 11-point game now. 11-point game. LOL, timing is everything, right? Yeah, it is, Biz. Definitely is. Timing is everything. Another out. Yo, uh, the Hawks think that they really like this. They think they're Lob City right now. They think they're Lob City right now. Corner three, and it's going to go. George Niang. Let's go, man. Let's go, Niang. Trey Young up top, coming around a screen. Trey, a triple. Cannot get it to fall. Sixers pick it up. McDaniels, a step over, goes up. Nice shot. Jalen McDaniels is cooking, man. He is cooking. Bro. Give him 20 points on the night. Jalen McDaniels with a 20 bomb. Let's go.
Let me ask you guys this. Can the Sixers beat Boston and Milwaukee in the playoffs? Who do you feel more confident against, Boston or Milwaukee? Who do you like more, Boston or Milwaukee? I'm a Cavs fan who discovered you when you played us in the preseason. I'm excited for your guys' playoffs. Joel for MVP. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. Johns is excited to see how far our team can go fully healthy in the playoff run. That is a key right there, John. That is a key right there. Something that we will definitely be talking about the next couple of days into next week. Is James Harden going to be 100% healthy? Is Joel and B going to be a hundred percent healthy? I think I think the health of James Harden will determine a lot. He's played so good this year. There were there were clowns in here yesterday saying, "Oh, James Harden has been bad. He's been inconsistent." What are you watching, bro? Harden has been fantastic, but can he stay healthy? Right now, it looks like he's still battling that Achilles, which definitely definitely concerns me. So we'll have to wait and see. If Harden is 100% healthy, I think Joel and James can go up against anybody. Along with Maxie as well. So let's see. The chat thinks that I'm seeing a lot of Boston. So you guys think they can be Boston? Okay. Okay. Milwaukee. Boston, oddly enough, Bucks are more athletic than the Celtics. Bucks have a good team, man. Yes, we need to act like the Bucks when they want it. Don't try to avoid anybody. I don't think the Sixers are avoiding anybody. I think they're doing their thing, man. Secret, what's going on, bro? Can we get can we get some love for Secret in the chat, man? Does a great job modding the show every single time out. We're still looking for a couple more mods, but shout out to Secret, man. Always doing a great job. Come on, Sixers. Eight-point game. Eight-point game. Trey Young up top, guarded by Jaden Springer. Here is Trey Young. Trey going to float it up and a foul. I'm surprised these refs are, are calling this many fouls in this game. Gabriel says, I want Miami in the second round. Could you imagine that if Miami upsets the Boston Celtics? Could you imagine? By the way, let's get a uh, let's get an update here on the Brooklyn game. They are in the third quarter. Brooklyn leads it by 20, so it looks like the Nets are going to hold on to win. Looks like the Nets are going to hold on to win to lock this in. McDaniels misses it. Reed can't tip it back. McDaniels. No good. And another miss by Atlanta. Sixers pick it up. Shake darts it down the floor. McDaniels. And he is fouled by DeJounte Murray. So Jalen McDaniels going to the charity stripe for a pair.
All right. Jalen McDaniels with 22 points. He is balling out. This is great to see. Jalen expected to be a huge part, obviously, of the Sixers' playoff rotation. Someone said Maxie's in the chat. Tyrese Maxie, what's going on, man? Thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah. Someone said this, sh- this goes to show what type of fan base Atlanta has. Half their thing is empty. They're probably upset about this team, man. It's crazy. The Hawks fired Nate McMillan before the Sixers had a different coach. And the Hawks beat the Sixers a couple years ago. That's how bad it got. McDaniels up top. Going to find George Niang. Niang off the dribble. Throws it away. Shake somehow gets it back. What are you doing? McDaniels off one foot. No good. I honestly think the Bucks are a better matchup because Boston has a lot of talent on both sides of the court. Here's DeAndre Hunter guarded by Paul Reed. Hunter going to drive, falls to the floor. They called that a foul? We're going to be here all night. We're going to be here all night. We're going to be here all night. Yo, they really called that a foul, though. My man is out here flopping like a fish. That is crazy. Trey Young down low. Trey guarded by Daniel House. There he goes one-on-one. Trey Young going to blitz to the basket and can't get the finish. Shake with the left. Shake finally puts it in. About time, man. Philly fan in the playback chat. What's up, Philly fan? Guys, come on over to the playback chat. And hit the thumbs up if you're in the YouTube chat, man. Let's get this to 300 likes. Let's go. Keep spiking that like button. Thank you for being here. They're out here grilling Tobias in the chat. And another one good for Atlanta. It's now a 10-point lead yet again. 10-point lead for the Hawks. 6.30 to go here in the third. House all the way. The reverse got it. 8-point lead for Atlanta. And it's now a 10-point game. Atlanta knocks down another one. Yeah, but so everybody's been sitting out, at least today. All backups in, for the most part, today. Across the league. George Niang off the dribble. Man, I just don't know if Niang's going to be a playoff piece or not. Last year, he was not effective in the playoffs. I mean, when he's hot, he's hot. But it's like, dude, the last 20, 30 games, he just has not looked the same. Shake up top. Let's go, Shake Milton. Let's go. Shake around a screen. And taken up by McDaniels. Oh, the spin. Reed, four, three, two. He lost it. Behind the back, Murray going the length of the court. Floats it up. Yo, they really think they are the lob city tonight. They think they can do an alley-oop at any point in this game. They really do, man.
Oh, man. Terry says, if you play George Niang, the opponent will attack him every single time. Mikey says, they're not trying to give Philly any foul shots. I'm surprised they're even calling fouls like that. All right, so what's let me let me ask this to Sixer Nation in the chat. For those who have been here all year, shout out to you. What has been your favorite moment about the Sixers this year? Either your favorite game or your favorite big moment. What has been your favorite moment this season? Cuz I have like 5 of them. But I'm wondering what your what your uh, moments are. Embiid, fifty nine points. That's a good one. Joel buzzer beater against Portland. Another. That's definitely one on my list as well. I'm going to wait till somebody says mine, and then I'll, I'll tell you guys what mine is. Embiid, 52-point game against Boston. There you go. Tyrese Maxey got it. Embiid hanging 47, 18, and 5 on Jokic and beating the Nuggets. That was a sweet day. Pete says, RB, just listening to you call the games. Hey, Pete, my man. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. Appreciate everybody that's been a part of this all season, who's been a part of it for the last three years. We're only going to grow, get bigger. A lot of big plans in store. But shout out to Pete, man. He's been here all year. The other thing that I, the other game I really liked, or one of them, as George Niang throws a turnover, the other game I really liked was the ladder gate where Trez was talking smack to Giannis. Sixers beat the Bucks at home, and uh, the whole ladder thing happened. That was pretty funny. Um, Joel, 47 against the fake MVP. Booing Ben Simmons. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, I was 3-0. and I was 3-0 and going to the games this year. I went and I saw some of the greatest players you know, I was glad to be able to see some of those guys up front, close, you know. Got to see LeBron and the Lakers. That was a wild game. The Lakers came all the way back in the final moments. It went to overtime. That was just a nutty game. Um, but yeah, I got to see LeBron, Russ, all them guys, AD. I saw the Nets game where the Sixers cracked them. That, that Actually, that might have been my favorite moment. The Sixers with everybody out. <laughs> With Shake Milton and DeAnthony Melton cooking Ben Simmons in the Brooklyn Nets. That was a, and seeing it up close, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. And then I saw the Warriors. I saw Curry on the bench. I saw Clay. So I wanted to get to see all these players, man. And I'm 3 0. And by the way, little sneak peek, your boy is most likely going to one of the first round games. So I'm 3 0. Let's make it 4 0. Let's make it 4 0. Let's make it 4 0. Another three ball from Atlanta. It goes. By the way, guys, this has been a really roller coaster type year. I know you can say that every year about the Sixers, but, you know, to have two eight game win streaks or seven game, whatever it was, and the first one, you know, it was all the backups winning games like that. The team started out one and four and one, George Niang. And one. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. And one George Niang. But yeah, this team started out one and four. They were 12 and 12. Everybody thought the ship was sinking. Doc Rivers had that game where he benched Paul Reed in the fourth quarter against the Knicks when he had six blocks. There were just a couple bad, bad games like that. The game where the bench was coming all the way back and then Doc, uh, Doc benched him and then Sixers lost. But yeah, that Nets game, seeing that like 10 rows away, that was amazing. Seeing Ben get booed, oh, it was beautiful. Seeing him get worked by Paul Reed in the block. 
Guys, if I go to the first round and they win, I'm going to the second round. Am I going to do the game at the game? Nah, I'm not going to do that, man. But I, I, I have considered if the Sixers get to the NBA Finals, I would love to find a way to hook up a show in person to get a bunch of you out there to call the game and have fun, man. That would be a time. That would be a great time. If they get to the finals, we'll make it happen. If they get to the finals, we'll make it happen. What was the maxi game where he had like eight threes? Yeah, I remember that game. I forget who, who it was against, but some of your favorite moments were some of my favorites too. RB been a fun season. The improvement of Maxi. By the way, guys, I didn't even mention this. There was a report that came out today that, uh, you know, depending on how these playoffs go, Maxi could be in line to get a max contract, two hundred million dollars. What do you guys think about that? Daniel House going to drive, go up, and lays it through. It is now a four-point game, guys. They are right back. Somebody said Ben's been stealing money. Well, that's another great moment. All the net fans just kind of disappearing. And that whole debacle, blowing it up again, was crazy. Anyway, it's a four-point game. The Hawks are choking. Isn't that ironic? Shake, House, dropped it. And it's going to be out of bounds. Hawks basketball. Can the Sixers actually come back, man? We got 311 people in the chat, guys. Please hit the like button. Get this to 300 likes, all right? We're here on a Friday night, game 81. This game means nothing. We're here breaking it down, having a good time. Come on, man. Hit the like button for your boy. Support the show. Mac McClung's back in the game. Here come the Hawks, kicking it out. Jalen Johnson, double clutch, throws it down. Mac McClung going to drive off dribble. Paul Reed. He fumbled it, but it's going to be a foul. It's going to be a foul. So it will be Sixers basketball with Paul Reed at the line for two. Paul Reed at the line. He's going to knock down the first. So I'm trying to get an update here on the Mavericks scheme. Seems like Luka Doncic. I don't think he's playing anymore. Let's see. All right, so I think Luka Doncic is is out of the game. He's not. No, he's not done. <laughs> JB said my favorite was when RB yelled F the analytics game. Oh, that was great. That was great. How about Tobias, man? Sharpshooter game. That was another great one. Luka Doncic was in the start the second quarter. He got a bucket. 
and he was checked out. His season is over. Joel Embiid is set to become the first center to win back-to-back scoring titles since Bob McAdoo did it three times in a row from 1973 to 1976. Joel Embiid is going to be your back-to-back scoring champion, guys. Unbelievable. Unreal, man. And Bob McAdoo played back in the days where, you know, it was a lot different. It was a lot different than than nowadays. Did I just see that? No, I was. Honestly, I was not watching. I was trying to see what happened with Luka Doncic. Sadiq Bey goes in, lays it in. Six-point game. Here's Daniel House. House up top. And it's going to be out of bounds, staying with the Sixers. Guys, hit that like button. Welcome on into the show. Just trying to get confirmation here. Yeah, so it seems like Luka Doncic is done. So Joel Embiid is going to be your back-to-back scoring champion. Let's go, man. McDaniels the floaty misses six point game. 25 seconds ago here in the third. Yeah, Mac hit a three, according to you guys. I wasn't even watching. Trey Young up top. Trey coming around a screen. Trey. Going to find Johnson blocked. What a block. Mac three. Two, one, Mac fouled going to the basket. Let's go, Mac. Two dollar donation from Gutman Nine. He says, I'm losing all hope in Philly. Let's go. Gutman with another two dollar donation. I saw the heartbreaking Heat Sixers game last night. Okay. Thank you for the super chats. Mr. 89 says, nothing to do with Philly, but I hope Larry is safe during his time in Finland. And returns to the NBA. He's a fantastic talent for Utah. Shout out to Larry Marketing, man. He's had a great year. Jazz started off really hot, then they tailed off. But they're going to be a good team in the future. After we get done this quarter, though, I want to give some celebration and hype for Joel Embiid. I mean, what he is doing is just unbelievable. And he's going to wrap it up. I mean, 33 points per game is ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Stolen away. Hawks from the corner. No good to end the third. That'll take us to the fourth quarter. I can't believe this is this close, man. Four-point game. The Hawks really stink, man. They really stink. All right, guys. So, Joel Embiid is going to officially... Win back to back scoring titles. Back to back scoring titles for Joe Ellen Embiid. 30.6 points per game last year. We all saw that in amazement. We didn't think it could, could get any better, right? And Joe Ellen Embiid comes out with 33.1 points per game. Unbelievable, man. Can we get some MVPs in the chat? Man? Yes, sir. You know what? We're going to run that back, man. Guys, it is just absolutely unreal, man. It is unreal. 
If you have been here all season, if you've been here on this show, I've literally said it every, almost every single game. Do not take this man for granted. Do not take what you're seeing for granted. Your team, you know, there's a couple years at a time where you're usually good and then you never know what happens, right? You could be winning 30 games a year. You could be in the lottery, you know, trying to get a star player. The Sixers have one of the greatest talents ever, ever. This is the modern day. The last time a center won back-to-back scoring titles was Bob McAdoo in the 1970s. We are in 2023 in a day where the game is not even catered towards big men anymore. 33.1 points per game. That is absolutely insane. Despite what all these other people try to tell you, despite all the arguments and the debates they try to make in this and that, what Joel Embiid has done to continue to get better. I thought he was at the peak two years ago. He got even better last year. He got even better this year. Man, just insane. Insane. Shout out to Joel Embiid. Incredible. Incredible. You guys are just tuning in. Once again, Joel Embiid is now the official back-to-back scoring champion of the NBA. Give him some love. We got a ball game going on, though, man. Four-point game. I don't know how the Sixers are still in this game. The Hawks really are are not good. They are a bad team. I wouldn't be surprised if they lose to Toronto in the play-in. Because they stink. This is their starting unit going up against Dwayne Dedman, Furkan Korkmaz, George Niang, Daniel House, and Mac McClung. Here's Mac coming around a screen. Mac looking, scanning. Here's Daniel House going to find Deadman. George Ni Yang off the dribble. What a dime. Deadman the float. (laughs) It's going to be a foul in the Sixers. What was going on right there, man? You guys have not yet. Please like the show, guys. Let's get it to three hundred likes so we can drop those MVP chants. Unreal, man. Joel is one of the greatest talents of all time. I'm telling you guys, man. I need him to get past the second round. I need I need to see Joel on the biggest stage. Shake going all the way. The Oop Deadman with the thunderstorm. Yes, Woo! sir. Holy Dwayne. What the heck? Trey Young. Going to drive. Johnson all the way in an easy two. I think the I think the Joel Embiid thing, you know, it'll be similar to the Giannis type of run. Giannis was hated by everybody, et cetera, et cetera. Had a great story. Then when he finally got to the finals and won, he was much more respected. I think the same thing would happen to Joel if he got to the finals. They would see his life story, how he overcame so many obstacles, and start to respect him even though it's not his fault that he didn't get past the second. Giannis improved his game. Joel doesn't need to improve his game. He just needs better teammates around him. But I think if Embiid got on a run like that, I think he would be very much more respected. Daniel House down the other end. What a finish. What a finish. Brandon says Giannis already had an MVP before he got to the finals. Yeah, and he couldn't shoot. He could barely shoot. So the fact that Giannis got even, the fact that he was respected that much to be that dominant just shows how insane of a player he is. Giannis didn't get to the, or not get to the finals because, you know, of a terrible supporting cast. He just needed to get a little bit better and he got even more dominant. So. I need to see Joel on the biggest stage, man.
Six point game here. So the Heat just lost. It's going to be Sixers and Nets in the first round. It is official, ladies and gentlemen. It is official. House tried to just throw it down. What are you doing, Daniel House? You're going to hurt yourself, man. All right, guys, it is official. We're getting a bunch of updates here. The Sixers will play the Brooklyn Nets in the first round of the NBA playoffs. Boy, oh boy, am I ready for this one. Yes, sir, man. Hit the like button if you guys are happy to play the Brooklyn Nets in the first round. I cannot, yo, this, this series is going to be absolutely incredible for a lot of reasons. And again, I'm not going to spoil it too much. Because, again, I'm going to drop a preview video for every playoff series. You can expect the preview video probably on Monday or Tuesday. But, man, I am so ready for this freaking series. All those Nets fans are going to come out of the woodworks again. They've been silent all year. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. But it's not going to be the Nets you thought it would be. It's going to be the Michael Bridges-led Brooklyn Nets. It's going to be the Michael Bridges led Brooklyn Nets. Oh, it's going to be funny, man. Unfortunately, Ben Simmons will not be playing. I cannot wait to play the Brooklyn Nets. I really cannot. It's going to be amazing. And the funniest thing is that the Nets fans, man, like, again, they've been swarming this platform. They've been swarming Sixer channels for a long time. They've been nowhere to be seen for the last <laughs> seven months. They're going to come out of nowhere. They're going to come out of nowhere. Not to toot my own, own horn or anything, but just the way that I called exactly how the Ben Simmons thing would go. I told you guys that the Nets would blow up with Kyrie and KD. And now it's Michael Bridges trying to lead the squad. Let me tell you something, man. This will never happen, but if Michael Bridges was to ever lead the Nets to an upset against the Sixers, that would effectively probably end the franchise. That would probably end the franchise. Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? Tom, huge Kings fan in Omaha. Love watching on YouTube. Tom, shout out to you, man. And Tom, good luck to your Sacramento Kings. Great story to be in the playoffs. I know you're happy. Ben will be out of the NBA by next year. I literally called that Ben Simmons would be out of the league in three years. He might even beat me. Star says toot that horn. Look, all I'm saying is that I covered the Ben Simmons saga from beginning to end. There are still videos on this show way, way back where I was one of Ben's biggest fans and supporters. Like, I thought he was going to be an eventual MVP. I've never seen a story like that, and it's just gone really downhill for him. But then at the beginning of this season, all the net fans came back and they acted like I was just such a bad, you know, personality. And they were like, yeah, he's going to do big things this year. And I, I just tried to tell him I tried to warn them as a friendly foe. You know, I tried to tell him like, no, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And man, it's been even worse than I thought. It's been even worse than I thought. So.
But anyway, man, this is nonetheless this is a good night. Like I said, Joel Embiid scoring champ back to back. Sixers and Nets first round. Get the popcorn ready, baby. Get the popcorn ready. You know we're going to be talking smack. I'll give my prediction in the preview video. But what do you guys think? Early prediction, Sixer Nation. Early prediction. How many games will the series go? Give me your thoughts. Sixers steal it away. Here comes Shake Milton all the way. And he throws it away. Come on, Shake. What are you looking at? I can't even stress over a non-cardiac game like this. It is cardiac, but it doesn't matter. Murray all the way, and a charge taking my Trez. Let's go. Let's go, Trez. Guys, hit the like button, man. We need 30 more. Can we get the 300 on this show? Isaiah says, I'm 30. I remember seeing Shaq dominate for years. Never did I think I would see a center doing what Embiid is doing. I agree, man. 100%. 100%. And another big shot for the Sixers. Oh, my gosh. It's a two-point game. It's a two-point game, ladies and gentlemen. I can't even take this right now. Ben says, the day they announce and beat his MVP, I'll probably have a tear in my eye. Yo, you're not lying, man. We're going to be doing a celebration show that day. Because you got to really think, you got to really digest what Joel Embiid has been through. He didn't even start playing the game until he was 15 years old. He went through a lot of tough stuff, man. I can relate to that, man. Joel is a freaking warrior. He has gone through so much and... When he got drafted, just as, you know, from what he got drafted as to see where he's at now, it's just unbelievable. But we need to see him on the biggest stage. JB says, Mike Cal wanted to come home to Philly. Man, I am expecting at least one game of a Mike Cal masterclass. I'm expecting Mike Cal to go off for like 50 in one game. I'm not even kidding. He's going to be using so much motivation, man. Guys, it is a two-point game. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. AG tuning in from Virginia. What's up, AG? Guys, where are you guys tuning in from? Let me know in the chat. Let's go. Sixers have a chance to win this game, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Thompson's is out here, and Neb saw him dominate at KU. Shout out to Joel, man. He was hurt for the first couple years. There, all the odds were against him. He went through a terrible ownership. He went through a GM literally calling him out with a burner account. He went through a fraud. Yo, you guys are going to make me get like Kelsey up here, man. You know what? I might give my own Embiid MVP speech. (laughs) I might give my own Embiid MVP speech. You guys are getting me fired up, man. I should not be this fired up right now. I'm just just thinking about that moment. That's going to be a special moment. That's going to be a special moment. He deserves it, though. JB says, Cardiac D-League. We got Philly fan in from Maryland. JB, this, this can't be a cardiac game, man. This can't be a cardiac game. Tyler says, tune in from South Carolina. C-Block from Maryland. What's good, man? Let's go. This game means nothing for Atlanta because Toronto is going to lose. We got j from North Philly. We got Don from UD. Tyrese from Philly. Let's go, man. 20 more likes. Let's go. Sixer Nation, get hype in the chat. Can they win this game, though? Yes, Can they win this game? Sir. Let's go. We got upstate New York in the house. Oakland, Canada. Let's get it, man. And another one off balance and one for the Hawks. Who do you think is better, uh, Moses Malone or Joel Embiid? It's kind of hard to compare errors. I'm not one that likes to compare errors. I mean, I would say Joel Embiid, just given the fact that he's in a time where guys are more athletic and have more skill sets. But in that era... You know, Moses was just unbelievably dominant, you know, so it's kind of hard to compare that. Let's go. 
Philly Center City tuning in. Brazil in the house. Omaha. Yeah, we got everybody tuning in tonight. 400 plus in the chat in a meaningless game. Appreciate you all. Trez. One hand, the hook shot, no good. Gets it back, tips it in. Montrez Harrell, let's go. Trey Young up top. Trey to the corner. Sadiq Bay, a triple, knocks it down. Left him wide open. Left him wide open. Come on. Shake Milton still in the game. Jaden Springer, Niang, Trez, and Daniel House. Daniel House crosses, drives, House up with it. And he is fouled going to the line for two. Once again, if you guys are just tuning in, Joel Embiid, 30.6 points per game last year. He will finish with 33.1 points per game this year. And he has won back-to-back scoring titles. The Sixers are somehow still in this game. Man. And we have a Sixers versus Nets first round series coming up. First one good at the line. Sam Roquel with the $2 donation. Thank you, Sam. Says, thanks for making Friday night awesome. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, hit those likes button up, man. Get those likes up. We need to get 300. We're almost there. Drop some blue and red in the chat. Sixers are still in this game. Somehow, some way. They have made it entertaining tonight. They have made it entertaining. Trey Young up top. Collins a three. Damn. Come on, you got to play some defense. You got to play some defense. By the way, come on over to playback if you want to watch the game with us. We got a lot of people up in here. Here is Jaden Springer. Springer. Going to find Shake, Shake off the dribble, Shake, step back, one foot, got it. Keeps it at five points, 107-102. That is the score. And the Hawks throw to absolutely nobody. Yo, the Hawks are terrible. They are bad. L. Ronson had to hop on YouTube and throw the like. Yo, you are a real one. Thank you, man. Appreciate everybody in here. We need 12 more. We need 12 more. Let's go, Sixer Nation. Let's win this game. Come on. Shake. Going to find Niang off the dribble. Here's Trez. Throws it away. McDaniels picks it up. Eight on the shot clock. McDaniels off the dribble drive. Goes in. Up off the glass. No good. Here come the Hawks on the break. Trey kicks it out. Murray back to Trey. Springer guarding him tightly. Trey going one-on-one against Springer. Trey oops it up and throws it out of bounds again. Another turnover for the Atlanta Hawks. Another turnover. This is wild, man. Here is Shake Milton. Shake. Kicks it out. Here's Springer. Springer off the bounce. Too much on it. JB says, when Embiid does that, we can compare to Moses when he wins a championship. Hey, I get it, man. Moses is one of the greatest franchise history. It's kind of hard to compare with a different era. Step back three, no good. Five minutes to play. Five-point game. Here we go. McDaniels, Trez, Trez tried to throw it down, and he's fouled. Montrez Harrell to the line for two. 453 to play. Let's go, man. We are here live and direct. Live and direct. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe button. We're live every single game, Sixers game day live show. We break it all down in real time. We commentate. We'll be live for all the playoff games, of course. Could the Sixers somehow pull it off? I mean, this is this is intense. Dave says, I've been rocking with you since day one and will continue to rock with you. Even my grandchildren are big fans of the show. Dave, thank you so much, man. 
Thank you so much. Appreciate everybody out there tuning in tonight. As always, four-point game for the Sixers. Let's go. 450 to play. Let's go. One stop. One stop. No spoilers in the YouTube chat, please. Trey Young going to launch a deep three. Oh, he drills it. What a shot. What a shot. So it's going to be a seven-point game. 4.30 to go in this one. 4.30 to go. All right, I'll be right back in a second, guys, and then we'll see if the Sixers can make this comeback. Hold tight. Hold tight. Back just in time. Atlanta pulls it up. No good. Let's go, man. Let's go. Sixers up top. Trez. And a miss. Sixers pick it up. And another miss. It's going to be Sixers ball, though. Can you guys hear me in the chat still? Can you guys hear me? Drop a one if you can hear me in the chat. McDaniels off the side of the backboard. I don't know why it started lagging, guys. Springer top of the arc. Got it to go. Let's get it, man. And a turnaround got it to go. That was John Collins. House all the way and a foul. Can you guys still hear me on the YouTube side of things? I don't know what's going on with the stream right now. I literally leave for 10 seconds and it starts lagging. Like, bruh. Is the stream good or not? Nah? All right, hopefully the stream's all right, but anyway. All right, I see some ones in the chat. We're good. We're good. That was weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, we should be good now. Trey Young up top, going behind the back, and stolen away. Springer going all the way. House throws it down. Let's go. Two point game. <laughs> yeah. All right, the stream should be good now, guys. Like I said last time, I was promised that we should not have any issues going forward. So if there are any issues, always let me know in the chat. But it is not my fault anymore. We got everything straightened out. So I don't know. It looked like it was lagging for a second. I literally go to the bathroom for one minute, and I come back, and it's lagging. Like, come on, bro. Anyway, we are here. Can you Let me know if you guys... Can you hear me? All is good. Let's go. It is a two-point game.
Looks like the connection should be good now. Drop a one if the connection is good. Let me know. Let me know. We should be good now. Stream is bouncing around. Slow. I don't know why it started lagging as soon as I left. That was weird. All right. Anyway, shout out to everybody in here. Guys, we need three more likes. Who's going to get us to 300? Who is going to get us there? We should be good now. We should be good. All right, let's go. Let's go. Drop that blue and red in the chat. The Hawks from the corner. Oh. They're right there. They're right there. They're right there. Yeah, I apologize for the connection issue, guys. I left for 30 seconds, and for some reason, they just started messing with us, but we should be good now. It's not on my end anymore. Five-point game, Sixers need a defensive stop. 115-110, another triple short. Sixers pick it up. 2-10 to play. Shake. Here's Daniel House. House going to drive. Reed. And it's going to be a foul. Going the other way. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Let me know you're in here. 300 likes. Let's go. Yes, sir. You guys are the MVPs, especially the people that are in here tonight who have been hanging out with me all night long. Let's go. Hawks blow right by McDaniels for an easy two. It's a seven-point game. Don't know if the Sixers are going to be able to pull this one out now, but they still got some time. It's been a valiant effort nonetheless against the Hawks starter. Shake and one. Let's go. Never mind. And one. He said, RB, shut it. We still have a chance. 10 points and 11 dimes for Shake. He knocks it through. It is a four point game. Here we go. Here we go. Murray going to pull it for two short. Sixers pick it up. Let's go. Let's go. Shake up top. Drives. Shake the float. Missed. Tipped it and got it. He got it to go. <laughs> two point game. Cardiac Sixers in full effect. They never fail. And Capella found down the other end. Oh, man. Bro. <laughs> Yo. Clint Capella at the line. The first one. Ooh, that thing was ugly. That's no good. <laughs> Let's go, man. Come on, brick another one. Brick another one, Clint. Brick another one, Clint Capella. You know you don't want it. These Hawks fans need to be, they're probably angry, man. Oh, he missed it again. He missed it again. 0 for 2. Let's go. Let's go. Here come the Sixers. One minute to play. It's a two-point game. Shake up top. Springer, House, McDaniels, and Reed. Shake going to swing it off. Jalen, Jaden Springer. Springer going to drive off the dribble. Got it. It's time. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Let's go. It is a tie ball game. Trey, the float. Oh, he answers. He answers. Bro, the Hawks are fighting for their lives right now against the G-Leaguers. 
row. Yo, I cannot believe the Sixers lost to this team in the playoffs. They stink. This is nuts, bro. Sixers get a round of applause for even being in this game right now. This is nuts. This is nuts. Shout out to everybody who's tuning in, man. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you for being here. We're live every game just like this, reacting live, breaking it down in real time. No spoilers in the chat, guys. No spoilers in the chat. Welcome in. Welcome in. It is the it is the half Sixers, half Blue Coats up against the Atlanta Hawks, and we have a ball game. We have a ball game. It's cardiac Sixers nonetheless. They still find a way to be cardiac. JB says, in honor of Embiid's scoring title, can we hear the song? We got to get the dub to hear the song, man. We got to get the W to hear the song. You know how it goes, JB. Biz, Biz has never heard of playback. This is cool. Yeah, guys, come on over to playback. Very new and upcoming app, but it's going to be the big thing. We're almost at 1,000 members on playback. You get to watch the games with us, sync up the commentary. So you can even be in both chats. So welcome in, man. Let's go. 400 plus in the building. It all comes down to this. 33 seconds to go. Shake. Why'd he put George Niang in? Shake. Going to drive to the basket. And the put back by Springer. He threw it back. Tied at 119. Yo, what a put back. Let's go. This game better not go to overtime, man. This game better not go to overtime. The crowd is on their feet. The Atlanta Hawks with the ball. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Trey against Springer. Missed it. Shot clock violation. Oh, my gosh. We have timeouts? No timeouts. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> they put time on the clock. They put time on the clock. Yo, if they hit a full court shot, I'm done. Hit a full court shot, please. Shake Milton from three quarters. Short. We're going to overtime. Are you kidding me, bro? Bro, no way, no way. No way we're going to overtime, man. It's a Friday night. We're here, man. Let's pull an all-nighter. Let's pull an all-nighter. Guys, this is absolutely absurd. Like, this is bonkers right now. This is actually bonkers. The Sixers are going to overtime, baby. Man, I, I need them to win now. Now that we're going to OT, like, tell me why I should keep this show on. Why should I keep this show going? This is a funny game. The Sixers have already locked up their first-round opponent against Brooklyn. Joel Embiid has won the back-to-back -back scoring titles. Jamie says RB needs time and a half pay tonight. That's what I'm saying. They don't pay me enough for this, man. Come on now. <laughs> Yo, 
This is crazy. You guys are just tuning in. Welcome in. Sixers and Hawks. We're going to OT. Shout out to the channel members. Let me know you're in the chat, man. If you want to join the memberships, check down below in the description. Come on over to Playback, guys. Come watch this game on Playback. Come click the link in the YouTube chat. Join the Discord, Instagram, Twitter. You know what the deal is, man. Follow us everywhere. Shout out to Jaden Springer, man. He's got 18 points. He's coming up big. Nice defense there on the last possession, by the way. Shout out to Jaden Springer, man. That putback was crazy, though. That putback was nuts. I'm actually really liking what I'm seeing from Springer. He still has to improve his offensive form and stuff, but he's looking like a player, man, and he's only 19. So, hey, if he ends up being a guy, you know, I can admit I was wrong. McDaniels floats it up, and the Sixers take the lead. McDaniels, uh uh-oh, grabbing the crotch. Don't let anybody get injured, man. How about the G League Blue Coats? As uh, Capella misses. How about the Blue Coats, man? Winning the championship last night and then coming up here to play. Springer's got to be gassed by now. Paul Reed down low, getting big, puts it in. Yo, if the Atlanta Hawks lose this game, they shouldn't even be allowed into the play in. Shout out to these guys for playing hard, man. Capella, the alley oop, and he's going to get fouled by Daniel House. This is nuts. I'm actually glad I did this scheme. Someone's getting fired in Atlanta. Well, they already fired their coach this year, so if they want to fire, uh, fire another coach, have at it. Have at it. Sixers better win this game now. They better win it. Capella going to knock it down 123-121. I'll tell you this, guys. If if the bench is inconsistent in the playoffs and you need a spark off the bench, you might want to think about Jaden Springer. I don't think it'll happen, but he's been playing really good. We got 500 tuning in tonight here in the chats on both platforms. Shake off the dribble. Got it again. Yo, Shake is cooking right now. He is cooking. Four-point lead for the Sixers. Here's Trey Young going to spin. Oops it up. Yo, do they only do Ollie oops? Do they only do Ollie oops? And Daniel House with another bucket. Four for four for the Sixers in overtime. Four for four. Trey Young, another alley oop. They only do alley oops. Four point game. Sixers lead it three minutes ago here in overtime. I can't believe I'm actually getting cardiac about this game. This is what the Sixers do to you. Shake up top. Gonna cross, drive, shake against two. Goes up. Reed tried to tip it in, could not. Here come the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks still have their starters in. Murray against McDaniels finishes. And it's a two-point game. Whew. 2.30 to go here in the overtime period. 127 to 125. Daniel House working. Oh, he's going to step back for three. Why would you do that? Why in your right mind would you do that? We're trying to win this game. Here's John Collins off the dribble. Collins going to drive, kick it out, and he throws it to nobody. Sixers ball. Let's go. Cable said Delaware Blue Coats against the Atlanta Ali Ubers. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in overtime. 
Sixers lead it by two. Two minutes to play. Rick Bennett with a $5 donation. Shout out to another great channel member. Says, what up, RB? Hope all is well. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate that, man. Welcome into the show. Shout out to everybody out there tuning in tonight. Let's go, man. Let's go. <clears throat> Somehow this is a game, man. Springer, McDaniels, Reed, they're all stepping up right now. They're all stepping up right now. <clears throat> Steven says, I'm sorry, but Springer needs to be on the floor when a very late stop is needed. Springer's been playing good tonight, man. RJ says, I can't believe this game is in overtime. We got 560 people in here. Let's go. Oh. <clears throat> Niang off the dribble. Got it to go. Let's get it, man. George Niang with the one-hander. Yo. Two minutes. 150 to play. Can the Sixers hold on to this game? I want to play the song, man. Another miss by the Hawks. Wow. Here come the Sixers. Shake. Brings it down the floor. Take your time. 135 to play. Shake looking around, nine, eight. You got to make a shot happen. Shake with the left, goes all the way, kicks it out. Niang for three. Bang! Rev up the minivan. Let's go. Hulk's answer back, but it's a five-point lead for the Sixers. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? <laughs> Woo! Good to see some of the bench pieces stepping up here, man. Sixers are going to need him in the playoff. Shake drives off the dribble again. Missed it. Tough shot by Shake Milton. It's going to be Atlanta basketball. Oh, man. I cannot believe this. <clears throat> Niang's having fun, man. They took him out for this defensive possession. Here's Trey Young trying to get busy. Goes right by Reed. They let him right in. Did they foul him too? Why would you foul? This game, guys, <laughs> if this game goes a double OT, I can't even do it. I can't even do it. <laughs> this game, who fouled him? Springer with the reach. And the free throw is good. Doc Rivers with a timeout. This game better not go to double overtime, man. This game better not go to double OT. Shout out to everybody in here, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button down below. Guys, let's get it to 400 likes. Sixer Nation Drop some blue and red. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Let's go. RB, if this goes in a double overtime, you got to do it. Your job, this is what you signed up for. I'm ready for the playoffs. You guys are just tuning in. We'll be doing this live every game for the Sixers playoffs, so be sure to be here. We'll be doing post-game vids, a lot of coverage. We're going to have a preview vid coming out this week. Sixers versus Nets. Who you got? Who do you got? Sixers or Nets?
All right, here we go. JB says, I call double OT cardiac. You better not, JB. You got to chill, man. Shake, going to find a cutting. Springer goes up, gets fouled, and he's going to the line. Jaden Springer heading to the charity stripe. How about that, Collins? You were talking all that smack earlier, weren't you? The Hawks have done about 38 alley-oops tonight. Collins was the man earlier this game. What happened? What happened, though? <clears throat> Guys, no spoilers in the YouTube chat. 38 seconds to go here in overtime. 38 seconds to go. Springer going to knock it down. 133 to 130. And he's going to miss the second timeout, Quinn Snyder. Jaden Springer just made this game a lot more interesting. Oh, man. I got to tell you, man, with everything going on here throughout this show, I think my biggest takeaway is that Jane Springer might be a kid, man. He might be a player. Even though he just missed that free throw, I mean, he's got some confidence to him. I like what I'm seeing. Secret says, cardiac sixer strike even when the games don't matter. You know what's crazy, Secret? I literally said earlier in this show, like, I was not going to get any type of any type of emotion about this game. And here we are in freaking overtime. Cardiac Sixers just never fail. Never fail. Most assists in a game in franchise history. That's what they're showing here on, on, on the broadcast. Most games in franchise or most assists in franchise history in a game. Trey Young right up at the top. Doc's got the hands on the knees. You know what time it is. Here is the inbound. Gives it back to Trey. Trey over the backboard. And he's going to be fouled. So I guess he's going to go to the line. Let's see this again. That's really a foul? That's really a foul? Where's the foul at? He didn't even touch him. I would challenge that. I would challenge that. Where's the foul at? How do you get rewarded for that? That is bull. And Jaden Springer is now fouled out of the game. Are you kidding me? Because Trey Young, I mean, that. how do you call that a foul, bro? I mean, that's just, didn't they make the Trey Young rule for a reason? Come on, man. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, kudos to Jaden Springer. Give him some love in the chat. What a night out of Jaden Springer. What a night, man. That, that kid can play. I might have been wrong about Jaden Springer, but remains to be seen. He finishes the night with... uh. 19 points, 8 for 13 from the field against a starting team. All right, two-point game. 25 seconds to go. Here is Shake Milton up top. Nine seconds separating game and shot clock. Shake on a drive, kick to the corner. Niang the sidestep for three. Bang! Let's go! Fired up. Let's go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Woo. Let's go, the minivan. Woo. 
Oh, no way. Let's go, George. The Sixers are going to do it. They're actually going to do it, man. This is crazy, man. I cannot believe the Sixers are going to beat this Atlanta team. George Niang always comes through with the big shot. He always comes through with the big shot. Hit that thumbs up, man. Get that minivan up and running. Rev that engine, baby. 11 seconds to go. 11 seconds to go. Oh, man. Look at him playing defense. Bogdanovich, a three. Short. Sixers pick it up. They're going to win. <laughs> They're going to win. Let's go! Play the song! Let's go! In a game that literally did not matter. We're here at 1030 at night. Sixers get the W. First off, shout out to all 670 people in here. You guys are incredible. We're here every game doing this live just like this. The second string and G League blue coats take down the Atlanta Hawks in Atlanta. Courtesy of Jaden Springer. Courtesy of Jalen McDaniels. Courtesy of George Niang with the clutch shot. Courtesy of B-Ball Paul. Doc Rivers was pumped up. I haven't seen him that pumped up since he got here. <laughs> this is amazing. 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 Wow. Sixers get it done. 136 to 131. Friday night hoops, cardiac Sixers never fail. The Hawks stink, man. They are really bad. And oh, by the way, on the same night, Joel Embiid becomes the back-to-back -back scoring champion officially. 33.1 points per game on the year. He is the scoring champion again. And the Sixers are now locked in to a first-round series with the Brooklyn Nets. That is right. They are locked in first round. Man, it's going to be interesting. Martin with the $2 donation says, you know how I feel about these Hawks victories. Hey, that one hit different. Hawks choking? Talk about the irony. I seen them begging in the chat. They want the song run it. They want us to run it back. They want us to run it back. I might have to, man. You guys have been OGs, man. You guys have been here all night. I don't even know why you guys were here tonight, but... Man, what a win. My biggest takeaway, I might have been wrong about Jaden Springer. I might have given up on him too quickly because that kid can play. He can play. What is he, 19? 20? Yo, he can really, like, he's not going to crack the playoff rotation, but going forward, he fixed that form a little bit. Jaden Springer can really play. The Delaware Bluecoats really just beat the Atlanta Hawks.
And I think the craziest part is that the Hawks are about to go into the playoffs. And this is a team that beat the Sixers two years ago to get to the Eastern uh, Conference Finals. And the Hawks fired their coach this year. And they've just been a disaster. But just unbelievable, man. Unbelievable stuff. Unbelievable. They're saying we got to run it back. I don't know. I think we do. I think we do because this was a crazy, crazy game. This is a crazy game. JB says the Hawks are a laughing stock of the season. Shake did step it up at the end. Shout out to Shake Milton. All right, screw it, man. We'll run it back. We'll run it back. Yo, play the song. Crazy, man. Jaden Springer won the G League championship last night. Then he's up here cooking Atlanta. Cooking them. Wow. What else do I say, guys? What do I say? I mean, (laughs) Jalen McDaniels, good to see him getting some burn. Some quality minutes in there before the playoffs. You know, he'll have to be huge. 24 out of McDaniels. 24 out of Niang, 19 out of Jaden Springer. You had 22 from Daniel House. Shake had 15. I mean, if you are the Atlanta Hawks right now, you have to be just embarrassed. Does this game mean anything? No, but how did you lose this game? Bro. Trez had 11 off the bench. Sixers got some players here, man. How about Mac McClung as well? He had five points. He had five points. Sixers really just beat Atlanta without everybody. Without everybody. Crazy stuff, man. I want to thank you all for being here in this show. When we started tonight's show, I literally said we were just going to talk and, and see how this game went. And then it goes to overtime. And the Sixers pulled out. Yo, Jaden Springer with that putback dunk and that shot to to bring it within, I think it was in four. He hit a clutch three, and he had a putback dunk late in this game. He was huge. Jaden Springer was huge in this game. And there's a lot of Sixer fans that were probably out there enjoying their Friday night. They didn't see this. But for the ones that did, you got served a treat, man. Wow. But now it's time to move forward. Look on Sixers and Nets in the first round. Once again, we will have a full preview and prediction out sometime during the week. We'll have a special guest on as well. We'll do some collabs. I cannot wait. Obviously, we'll be live for every playoff game. They need to give me a break. All right, I'm te- I'm not streaming on Sunday. There's no point. I need a break. I need a break. There's no reason this game should have been cardiac tonight. There's no reason. But yet it was. But yet it was. Jane Springer with a career high 19 points on the night. Secrets says, have a good one, RB. This was a fun game. Glad to see the bench unit and cleanup crew go out and have fun. Shout out to Secret, who's been in here modding it up, man. Eric says, a break? (laughs) I'm definitely not going to be here Sunday. Happy Easter, everybody. We'll be here on Monday for a preview. That's about it. There's literally no point to to, uh, broadcast Sunday's game. They're out here giving me cardiac in a game like this. 
in a game like this. What day is the special guest? We will be announcing that on Monday, so be sure to look out. Guys, if you're not following the Instagram and follow me on Twitter, you might want to do that. Join the Discord as well. Top three win of the year. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, but I, I'm just kidding about the break. But, yo, in all seriousness, I am ready for the playoffs. I am ready for the playoffs. I am locked in and ready for the playoffs. This was an amazing game. This was a treat. This was a treat tonight because nobody expected the Sixers to be in this game. This was a treat. This was a treat. All I have to say is that the fact that the Sixers lost to essentially this core a couple years ago just makes absolutely no sense. I don't know how they did, man. But this was nice seeing some of these younger players. Oh, man. <laughs> C-Block says this was the best game of the year. You guys might be pushing that one. This was a fun game for sure. This, this reminded me of the old Sixers back in 2015. That's what it reminded me of. This was back in the day, Sixers, when it, you just had fun watching the team, didn't expect anything. Dude, my Twitter is going nuts right now. People are hyped. They people are out with their friends. They're out, you know, enjoying their Friday nights, and they're looking up at the uh, at the scoreboard. And they're saying, "What? The Sixers won this game? The Sixers won?" Dave says, I hope we can get past the second round, RB. I'm definitely a fan and been riding with the Sixers since I was 11 years old. It's about that time, man. It's about that time. People are talking about Ben Simmons in the chat. I don't know why you guys are still talking about Ben Simmons. I mean, I told you everything that was going to happen with that guy. But you want, you want me to talk about Ben Simmons? You want me to talk about Ben Simmons? How crazy is it that Jaden Springer won a championship in the G League last night? and came up to the NBA and put up more points and cooked the Hawks more than Ben Simmons did in an entire playoff series. How about that? How about that? In all seriousness, though, man, you know what was good about tonight? Obviously, they weren't playing, you know, insane defense or anything like that, but you know what was good? They were moving the ball. Everybody was involved. You know, you had four guys, or three guys in the 20s, one in, one had 19. That was the good part about tonight. It was just flowing. It was flowing. Everybody's having fun. Niang going hype. Doc Rivers pumping the fist. Man. Man, oh man. Anyway, this was an insane game tonight, guys. Thank you all for being a part of it, and thank you for uh, tuning in as always. Sixers game day live show Philly take with RB. Let me know who's up in the chat, man. Drop a comment. Let me know you're in here. We'll shout some people out. We got we got the Doc Rivers press conference running over here on the playback chat. In case you guys are interested in that. We got first dibs at the Doc Rivers press conference over here on playback. So tune into playback. Speed Demon, shout out to you, man. Uh, Biz says you about the load manage. Say it ain't so. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. But honestly, Sunday, there's no point to really stream that game. I've streamed about 77 games this year, I think, 78. I, I'm locked and loaded for the playoffs, man. 
Plus, we're, again, we don't only do live streams on this channel. We do collaborations. We do videos. We do, you know, previews. We're going to have a full preview out for the playoffs. So we got to get ready for it. Prince is on a back-to-back. Love to see it. That's another thing I forgot about. This was on a back-to-back, which is crazy. But, yeah, man, this was wild. Teddy, thank you for being here, man. Killing the chat biz says I'm out. Thank you. Steven, thank you for being here. Kane says Tobias is going to be making 40 mil next year. Ricardo in the chat. Jerry in the chat says Springer's here to stay. Cable wire drop in the blue and red. Fear the beard in the house. Nate says we're beating the Nets. In one word, I'd say winners. Who said we had no bench? All these dudes scored more than Tobias tonight. Vincent says, Doc saying in the press conference, he really wanted to win this bad for the role players going into the playoffs. Evan, shout out to you, man. Hawks got embarrassed tonight. Hawks got embarrassed tonight. They got embarrassed. But anyway, man, appreciate you all being here. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the show as always. Look out for all the content coming up. Look out for all the content coming up. Don't know if we'll be here Sunday, but if we're not, happy Easter and look out for the videos coming up this week. Appreciate you guys being here, man. Sixers get it done on the road with the backup squad. 136, 131. Sixers move to 53 and 28 on the season. Big win, man. Somehow they win it in overtime. One more to go, and then it's playoffs, man. You guys have a great night. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.